LNWR survivor. Before the precursor and precedent classes cast a long shadow over London and Northwestern railway locomotive design, Webb had created a number of less celebrated but equally noteworthy little steamers. In particular, his 062 coal tank class, first produced in 1881, proved to be extremely successful, putting in impressive work up to and beyond nationalization in 1948. Seen here preparing for a day out on the Severn Valley Railway, number 1054 is the last remaining engine of the London and Northwestern Railway's coal tank class. Webb's coal tanks borrowed heavily from his earlier 060 coal engines of 1871, hence the similar naming of the classes. However, Webb had made a number of changes to his new engine. None was more significant than the introduction of side tanks, making the coal tank self-sufficient and perfect for its short-range duties. Two small trailing wheels were added to help cope with the extra weight burden of the water tanks, which ran the full length of the footplate. A total of 300 coal tanks were built between 1881 and 1897, all coming out of the renowned works at Crewe. They were rapidly hailed as simple, yet hard-working and extremely reliable engines, despite a few troublesome design aspects. Unfortunately for footplate crews, the full-length side tanks seriously constricted the size of the cab, leaving little room for manoeuvre. As the day begins, number 1054 rolls slowly past signals and an admiring group of onlookers. Much of the coal tank's power came from its two 17-inch diameter cylinders. These pushed the 4-foot, 5.5-inch driving wheels into action with 24-inch strokes. The 150 pounds per square inch boiler pressure assisted the coal tanks in achieving a respectable 16,350 pounds of tractive effort. The coal tanks were employed on both freight and local passenger trains. This tour, reminiscent of their earlier days, is set in the rolling countryside between Bridgenorth and Kidderminster. An impressive 293 of Webb's coal tanks survived to pass into London, Midland and Scottish railway hands after grouping. Number 1054's fate was very nearly sealed in 1939 when it was withdrawn from service, destined for a meeting with the cutter's blowtorch. Fortunately for this particular engine, World War II intervened. The country's requirement for extra locomotive power led to it being brought back out of retirement and overhauled, prolonging its life considerably. With this reprieve, number 1054 went on to surpass many of its contemporaries, and was one of only 64 of the class to continue working up to and beyond nationalization in 1948. Number 1054 is the only member of its class to have been preserved after withdrawal in 1958, some 78 years after its construction. Today, we can see it fully restored in its original pre-World War I lined black passenger livery. 
The coal tank's long lifespan owes much to its sturdy design and useful versatility. Displayed here, leading bunker first as the rail tour draws to an end. This no-nonsense class was popular amongst crews and enthusiasts alike, and through number 1054, its legacy will continue to be enjoyed for many years to come. <laughs>